Hello, my name's Tom Gray. I'll be auditioning for the three-year acting course at Lippa. The reason I want to study at Lippa is because it's I've grown up in London and I don't really want to study somewhere that's London. Like, I, it doesn't feel like I'm progressing almost. I want to go somewhere completely new and just start fresh and have like a, almost like a new chapter in my life without trying to sound too wanky. Um, the three monologues I'll be doing, sorry, the two monologues I'll be doing. The first one is from The Prodigal Son, playing Jim Quinn, which is by John Patrick Shanley. And the second one is King John, I'll be playing Lewis, which is obviously by Shakespeare. And my response to a news article, the news article is The First Steps, The First Steps, I think it's, it's what it's called, 1969, it's, it's the moon landing. Um, I've used the fact that I'm doing a self-tape to my advantage, so I hopefully you enjoy that. Um, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, why is it your school? Why am I always in the wrong? Why do I have to listen to you when you have zero to say? Because I'm young? All my life I've been young, so I never get a turn. This school is, is, is lost, if you ask me, you're lost. But everybody talks to me like, like I'm the one. I should change. Why should I change? I've never got to figure out who I am and you want me to change. That's crazy. Like, like you tell me I'm bad before I even get to be anything. What the hell is that? Original sin or something? Because I read Plato, right? I read Plato on a park bench in the Bronx. Let me tell you something. Plato, he wasn't afraid. Diogenes, he wasn't afraid. Socrates, he wasn't afraid of anything. Yeah, because they were men. Like, why are you the headmaster and I'm the student? Do you understand? Like, I have to earn your respect, but you don't have to earn mine. What is that? It's you that wants the A before we even start. But when I say I want the same thing, I'm nuts, right? I'm not, not going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to find my place in this world. Count on it. Yeah, this school has been a miracle for me, but not because of you. But because somebody, yeah... Mr. Hoffman finally saw me. And more than that, more than that, somebody, a grown person decided I was good before I was good. And do you want to throw me out of that? <laughs> Your grace shall pardon me. I will not back. I am too hard born to be propertied, to be a secondary at control, or to be a useful serving man and instrument to any sovereign state throughout the world. Your breath first kindled the dead coals of war between this chastised kingdom and myself, and brought in the matter that should feed this fire. And now, <laughs> it is far too huge to be blown out with the same weak wind which enkindled it. You taught me how to know the face of right. Acquainted me with interest in this land. You thrust this enterprise into my heart. And come ye now to tell me John hath made his peace with Rome. What is that peace to me? I, by the honour of my marriage bed, after young Arthur claim this land for mine. And now it is half conquered, must I back, because that John hath made his peace with Rome. Am I Rome's slave? <laughs> what penny hath Rome borne? What men provided? What munitions sent to underprop this action? It is not me who undergoes this charge. Who else but I, as such to my claim, sweat in this business and maintain this war? Have I not heard these islanders shout Vienne Noir? So I banked their towns. Have I not hear the best cards for an easy game played for a crown? In 
And shall I now hand over the yielded set? No. No. On my soul, he never shall be said. The first footsteps. You know what that is? It's when we first landed on the moon. That was the headline in 1968. For the first time, instead of looking forward, we have our heads tilted up to the stars and we we truly realise how insignificant and how small we were. But within that insignificance, I want you to like think of this. Most people who could statistically ever exist will never exist. They will never be born because of how big the number is of how many people could theoretically exist. So quickly, that insignificance that someone might feel or someone might be experiencing is actually quite significant because they've won the lottery. Just the fact that they're alive means they've won the lottery. Means that I won the lottery means that you won the lottery. So I guess the message is do what you do, do whatever makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. And if you can make other people happy, then great great because you're a long time dead and you're only living for a very short amount of time and it will end that's just how it is and that's okay that is okay that's how things are and hopefully what you leave behind is better than what you found so yeah